Okay, I made a video with all the two meter repeater pairs. We're gonna make a video with all the two meter simplex frequencies. So this is the, uh, the standard 15 kilohertz step band plan. So it's good for FM, uh, Yaesu system fusion, C4 FM, D star, uh, P25, or APCO 25, Project 25, common air interface, uh, DMR, you could, you know, cut these in half, 7.5 kilohertz steps. Um, yeah, so here we go. We've got two sets of frequencies to work with. Uh, first step is the more familiar 146 megahertz uh, chunk, 146.4 uh, to 146.595, and then the second is 147.405 to 147.585, and I'll go over the um, logic behind why they're not you know, just exactly one megahertz apart. So here we go. The start is 146.4, and then there's 146415, 146.430, 146.445, 146.460, that's nice and easy to remember, 146.475, 146.476, 146.478, 146.478, 146505, 146520, everyone knows about that one. 146535, 146550, 146565, 146580, and 146595. Now, a lot of folks like to observe um, 30 kHz spacing. Uh, for example, here, um, we use, you know, 14652, we use 14649, uh, we also use uh, 146445, uh, 146550, 146505, 146580 are all pretty popular, uh, and 146535, but uh, those ones are all observing the, uh, the 15 kilohertz spacing. It's nice and easy, so we'll put that at 14652. And uh, then there's the second set of frequencies. Now, you might be wondering, why doesn't this start at 147400? <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's open five steps. We're not in the UK. Um, that's because the closest uh, repeater pair, the highest repeater pair, the output is 147390. So we go up 15. KC, and here we are. So, obviously, the first one's 147405, 147420, that's easy to remember, 147435, 147450, 147465, 147480, 147495, 147510. 147525, 147540, 147555 is another easy to remember frequency. 147570, another easy to remember one. And then 147585. Now, the reason 147600 isn't included is because of a repeater with the output on 147 even. That's positive offset. So what's the input going to be? It's going to be 147600. Now, of course, um, your local frequency usage may vary. I know some areas use 20 kilohertz steps instead of 15. That's fine. Um, it does make it a little bit more straightforward. I feel that it is not necessary to use 20 kilohertz steps, but that's just me. In my experience, um, I know folks might see it differently, and that's fine. Um, I can see the case for 15 kilohertz steps, or for 20 kilohertz steps, and like I said, I, I think it's best to observe um, at least 30 kilohertz spacing 
uh, between active, you know, simplex frequencies if, if you can do it. Um, you know, th there's nothing wrong with using the 147 megahertz frequencies. They're, they're usually pretty quiet. Um, some areas use them for uh, repeater output for odd splits. So that's, you know, like the other video goes with the caveat that, caveat, excuse me, that, you know, your local frequency usage may vary. But uh, just, you know, remember that you need a good, for FM, you need a good, uh, you know, wide FM, which is what everyone's running on, 2 meters and 440 and amateur radio. Um, you need a good 15 uh, kilohertz spacing. Um, you don't you don't really need 20. Uh, you can run 20, but uh, you need 15. Um, don't, you know, not 5 kilohertz. Uh, with most re most transceivers, 5 kilohertz isn't going to make much of a difference at all. Um, yeah, so uh, I would say 15 kilohertz is what I recommend. Um, and, you know, you are going to find folks who don't exactly follow the band plan. They might use, you know, 146420, and, and that's fine if there's nobody nearby that's using, you know, 146415 or 146430. See, this is a problem with overlaying frequency channel planes on top of each other is you end up with, you know, people on the quote-unquote right channel that are uh, five kilohertz away from each other and uh, QRMing each other. So it is for that reason that I recommend, um, you know, just, just it's a gentleman's agreement. Uh, take some time to listen to simplex in your area. Two-meter simplex is one of the most... I would say underutilized and underrated um, things about uh, VHF, and I'm, I'm just talking about FM here, you know, uh, uh, amateur radio, um, 10 meter simplex, 11 meter simplex, um, 10 meter FM, uh, 6 meters, I mean, these 6 meters especially is kind of a neglected band, but um two meters really really shines for for simplex operation so uh, you should have one four six five two zero in your radio you should have four four six dot zero in your radio and you should have at least one other uh simplex frequency for both of those bands in your radio now i just went through all of the two meter simplex frequencies and they'll be in the description and i'll make another one for um for 440 but uh yeah there's no reason that that you can't spare a memory space for say 146520 146550 6460 often um again this is going to depend on your local area there will be a frequency that's used by say races or ares um or whatever your local amateur radio emergency service organization is that's kind of designated as like a home channel or like a local net channel or an area channel um you know for us there's there's a couple of them you know, i'm you know one of the folks that uses 146490 for example and uh that's one of the emergency services frequencies that's been designated for our area and that's kind of the whole point is it can serve both functions but there you have it, two meter simplex.